Martin Coschino. Welcome to New Orleans, Louisiana, the city of Super Bowls, Sugar Bowls, Final Fours, and Championship Fight. We're in the Mahilda Jackson Theater Performing Arts, where CBS Sports Boxing Series continues. Today's bout for the vacant WBUE, WBU Light Heavyweight Championship is between James Lights Out Tony and Freddie Delgado, WBU Supervisor Don Hazelton. The judges for today's fight are Elmo Adolf from New Orleans, Louisiana, Paul Sita from Fulton, Louisiana, and Robert Gonzalez from Houston, Texas. The ring physician is Dr. Jerry Rosenberg from New Orleans, Louisiana. The referee is Martin Casino from Metairie, Louisiana. Introducing in the blue corner, weighing in at 175 pounds, with a record of 21 wins, three losses, one draw, and 20 knockouts, from Miami, Florida, Freddie Delgado. And in the red corner, weighing in at 175 pounds, with a record of 46 wins, two losses, two draws, and 31 knockouts, from Ann Arbor, Michigan, James Lightsound Tony. Hi, gentlemen, middle of the ring. Come on, Fred. Hey, gentlemen, you received your instructions earlier this evening. I want you to protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands. Touch clubs, let's come out boxing. So James Tony hopes to add a lightweight championship to his resume, the former middleweight and super middleweight champion. First took his title from Michael Nunn in 1991, and then last year in 94, a dismal year. He lost the title fight to Ray Jones in November, and in his next fight in February of this year, he lost a controversial decision to Montel Griffin. But since then, he has moved up to the light heavyweight division, and he has been sensational, winning the USBA title on a April 30th. Fred Delgado out of Miami goes down in seconds. Wow. Before the echo of the bell had died, Fred Delgado was down. James, Tony came out and struck with his first punch. And he strikes again. This is Freddie Delgado's fourth appearance in a title fight. And it's not starting out well. Man who went 12 rounds with Thomas Hearns last year in a cruiserweight title. And that is no way to build confidence at the start of a round. Literally just seconds into the opening round. And there's a good left hand and a right. And he's in trouble. Delgado took a knee and was in trouble. There, sh there should be no standing eight count in this fight. The World Boxing Union does not call for a standing eight count in this championship fight. But Freddie Delgado did get the standing eight count from Martin Koskino, and it may not matter soon. Because James Tony is having his way with him here in the very first round. So we said Freddie Delgado, this is his fourth title fight. Unsuccess unsuccessful in the previous three, but he did go the distance with Thomas Hearns last year. And right now, he's just trying to go the distance in one round. James Tony is taking him apart. Watch this, 
two knockdowns so far in the first round. James Tony says he's a new man moving up to the light heavyweight division. Said he's tired of trying to keep his weight down and struggling. That's what cost him the fight against Roy Jones, having to lose so much weight. He says he's comfortable at this weight as a light heavyweight. And boy, he has shown it so far in this fight. Powerful punches, devastating punches from James Tony. So Freddie Delgado throws a punch after the bell, but little consequence for what he suffered in the opening three minutes. Watch this again. The bell sounds as they walk out. The first punch, a big left hook, and Delgado was down. One more time from Tony's corner. All right, this is as quick as you can get. Straight out. Here I come. Hello. Let's start boxing. And it almost ended right there. <laughs> and Roy Lorado was talking to his man, Freddie Delgado, in the corner. And I hope he's telling him to cover up because he has been a sitting duck so far in this fight. James Tony, as we said, thoroughly disappointed in 1994 and the start of this year says he's a new man in the new weight class and he wants to make a statement and he has done it so far but again all it takes is one big punch delgado at 21 and 3 21 20 of those 21 victories by knockout So James Tony will surely be careful, but really in control of this thing, as you saw from the opening bell. That is the quickest knockdown I've ever witnessed. You can't get much quicker. There's a big uppercut. Another big uppercut, and Delgado's in trouble. No defense from Fred Delgado on that flourish. And James Tony seems to be resting on the ropes and then just firing away. Delgado wants to stay in close, but he is still being punished inside. There's a stinging left hand. And a right. And Delgado is just leaning on James Tony. Again in trouble. Good uppercut by Tony. Boy, he's thrown virtually everything he has so far. And everything has worked. Another stinging combination. This is a most impressive showing so far by James Lights Out Tony. And it may be Lights Out before you know it. But Delgado hangs on, tries to throw some punishing shots to the body as we wind down the seconds in the second round.
James Tony, and you see behind him is manager Jackie Callen. And Eddie Mustafa, his new trainer. As he talks to him, we'll take a look at James Tony against the ropes. And boy, he worked it. Inside the body, then the left to the chin of Freddie Delgado. James Tony. A clinic so far for him. Watch Delgado, boy, he, get, he was stung twice, three times. And that fourth one would have put his lights out. So as Eddie Mustafa told James Tony in the corner, everything is beautiful. Everything is going just right for James Tony as we head to round number three. And he kicks him. First he punches Tony from behind. Then he gives him a swift kick, and now he'll lose a point. Frustration on the part of Freddie Delgado. And at this point, if I were in his corner, I'd tell him not to anger James Tony. Couple of good left hands by Tony, and you see Delgado pushes it down on the ropes and lands a couple of punches of his own. Freddie Delgado has been through the wars and he knows the tricks. He's using them all, but to no effect. Good short right hand by James Tony. And an uppercut. Freddy Delgado is being hit at will by James Tony. I'll say this for him, he's game, and he can take a punch. But for how long? Tony content to lay against the ropes, took a few, he took a few of Delgado's better punches there, but really didn't affect him, didn't seem to affect him at all. Tony not going to work his way out, content on the ropes. Got the shoulder from Delgado into the ropes, and he has been warned on numerous occasions. James Tony, there are the quick hands. Interesting tactic by Tony, content to lay against the ropes. He's relaxed, he's calm. I think he knows Freddie Delgado can't hurt him at this point. So he's content to lay back and just wail away. As he has done through three rounds here in New Orleans. The WBU Light Heavyweight Championship on the line. And now Freddie Delgado reddening around the left eye. There may be some blood. And he is being pummeled. Roy Laredo is talking to Freddie Delgado. We mentioned before, Delgado is a veteran of the wars. He knows the tricks, and he tried to use them all in this round. First, punching from behind. He had been warned before and watches the ref breaks it up. A swift kick that James Tony a <laughs> bit more surprised than angry about that. And then another trick, shove your opponent into the ropes, and then punch him as he falls back off. But James Tony unaffected by both now, laughing in his corner. So... I think J James Tony knows he's in complete control. Here we go, fourth round for the World Boxing Union's Light Heavyweight Championship. 
And James Tony says he feels comfortable now as a light heavyweight. He indeed looks most comfortable in the ring, content to lean in the corner, lean on the ropes, let Freddie Delgado throw his punches, look for his openings, and then fire back. Martin Koskino breaks it up. They begin to mix it up a little bit. Now Tony's starting to punch a little. I think his corner told him, hey, let's get off the ropes, let's move around, let's throw some punches and end this thing. But Tony is content to stay back against the ropes. Wow, what a flurry. James Tony wants to finish it now. He's in trouble. Koskino, the referee says, don't turn your back, gentlemen. And Tony hit him with a left hand. So James Tony, the busiest man in the ring, and maybe the referee, Martin Koskino, the second busiest. And Delgado throws a couple of couple of good punches. As we move past the halfway mark of the fourth round, James Tony, maybe a bit too relaxed against the ropes. Tony fights his way out of the corner, and now the roles are reversed. Very little movement by both fighters. The movement has been straight to the ropes, and Delgado takes three vicious shots from Tony. But again, Tony backs up against the ropes. Here's a guy who was wailed away on Freddie Delgado, hit him with at least a dozen serious punches, and Delgado is still going strong. And there it is. Just when you worry about, you wonder about the punching power of James Tony, he drops Freddie Delgado. A short right hand, and again, that's the end of the round. And again, there is no standing eight count in the World Boxing Union rules. The round ended. You can't be saved by the bell in any round of this fight. There is no standing eight count, so there is some confusion in the ring. But it's not very confusing as to what's going on in this fight. James Tony in complete control, and you wonder how much longer Freddie Delgado can take the punishment. Three straight lefts, three left hands, four, five. Delgado really helpless at this point. But again, James Tony. You wonder about that knockout punch. Can he deliver it as a light heavyweight? Great short right hand right there that put Freddie Delgado down on his seat. So we'll go to the fifth round and see if James Tony can end it. At one time, the most feared man pound for pound in boxing. And as we said, the dismal year in 94 and the start of 95, but says this is the weight class he belongs in. And this is for a title. World Boxing Union's light heavyweight championship. And now, Tony beginning to box a bit more. And it's working. That's it. It's over. Delgado is out. And James Tony is back. The new World Boxing Union light heavyweight champion with a fifth round knockout. 
Freddie Delgado clearly outclassed in this one from the opening bell. And with this, James Tony makes a statement to the boxing world that he is indeed back. Delgado dropped in perhaps the first two seconds of the first round after the opening bell. He fought gamely, but really no match for James Tony in this fight. So another world championship for James Tony. And the start of what he hopes will be a comeback. Watch it one more time. The uppercut, the left. Delgado hanging in there, but not much longer. There it was. James Tony firing at will and Freddie Delgado really with very little defense. Tony just took him apart and the left hand ended it. So James Tony is the man, the World Boxing Union's new lightweight champion. as he takes apart Freddie Delgado in the fifth round. That's the James Tony we had seen in 91 through 92, and moving up in weight classes in 93 and 94, he found trouble. He says he's back now. Tony declaring his allegiance to the WBU, and why not? They just handed him a championship belt. I think a lot of people now have their eyes firmly focused on James Tony, wondering which way his career was going to go. He had won the USBA title at this weight class back in April 30th. He now owns the WBA light heavyweight title in a most impressive fashion here in New Orleans. So James Tony, at age 27, may indeed have new life. And let us not forget how this thing started. Within, I would say, two seconds, three at the most, of the opening bell, Tony came out, did a little head fake, threw a left hook, and Freddie Delgado was down. And it didn't get much better from there on out. James Tony, James lights out Tony, and when you look at that final punch again, you realize it was a lights out for Fred Delgado, who was helpless when he took that last shot on the chin and just crumpled backward over his legs, his corner rushing in. They knew he was finished. Indeed, he was out. I'll give him this to his credit, game trying to get back up, but his corner man quickly rushed in because it was over for Fred Delgado. That is 